Hello, I'm Gary Brantner of Renarb Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comics I've read and uh, all that fun stuff. Um, shoot, I just did this. Oh man. Okay, let me start over. I'm on a break at work right now, and uh, so I thought I'd do this right now because this week's been hectic on me and uh, a lot of things going on at home, so I haven't had a chance to make a video last week and uh, let's see here so I usually start these out with telling you what is going on on Kickstarter right now um, I have backed a by the time I get to Dallas I think that's only got nine days left so you better check that out uh, so it's a pandemic story where a bunch of 80 percent of the population go to migrate to one spot and a uh, doctor's trying to figure that out uh, I'm backing it to where I get issues one and two together. Another one is called Hollowed, and it is about some detectives that are uh, chasing down some paranormal stuff, and it's also a one and two issue where uh, I get both issues together. Super Scouts, I think, is one and two, is also on Kickstarter that I'm backing, and uh, it is about some superheroes they're in a TV show about superheroes and it's kind of a galaxy quest thing going on where uh, they find out that they are real heroes or something and so they have to uh, save the world and Miskatonic High 7 is on Kickstarter right now Miskatonic High is one of my favorite stories it's a Lovecraftian comic about some high schoolers each one has a different horror sci-fi element thing going on in their life and uh, they kind of intermingle and cross paths a lot and it's a very good story Miskatonic High is really awesome to me uh, like I've gotten to know the uh, creators online and uh, they're they're doing some really cool stuff there I love the way they color it uh, it's kind of a sepia tone but it has some bright pinks and bright blues in it. it it's it's very unique and kind of Archie and Jughead kind of style to it so I, I've been really enjoying that maybe someday is another comic I'm backing it's a spin-off from All We Ever Wanted it's an anthology one first time I've ever backed an anthology series and uh, I remember seeing the All We Ever Wanted once and uh, I wasn't able to back it at that time so now I'm getting it and maybe someday the anthologies together in one and next up is Battle Royale Planet it's by John Schlem Jr. who does uh, Goth Ghost Girl which is a series I'm liking a lot and uh, so I thought if he's writing that and he writes this one I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one too it is about a planet that takes people, aliens, from their own respective planets and makes them fight against each other to decide if their world is worth saving or not. If they lose, then their world gets demolished by this alien overlord thing. So that's, that's probably a really bad synopsis of it, but I don't have time to look it up right now I'm because I'm on a work break. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing this. And Minx, um, I'm not really sure what Minx is about either, but it's by someone who I've backed before too, that's done a Mutant Chasers. So check out Minx on Kickstarter. That's a quick rundown of what's going on on Kickstarter right now, so now I'm going to go into um, Slightly Exaggerated by Curtis Clow. That's the writer, and illustrated by Pius Back. This is AP. I have a flashing yellow. Oops. And uh, it's lettered by Tobin Racicott. Racicott. Has a variant cover by Joe Mijiang, and uh, I don't think this is the variant cover. This is the Pius Bach one. So anyway, this is a story about a girl on another planet and she's kind of a Tomb Raider going thing um, she steals uh, an ancient relic from these aliens 
and she runs away, but then she gets caught. It's got very cool art, different color tones on this one. I like it. Uh, I can't wait till the uh, Kickstarter for issue two comes up because I did enjoy slightly exagger exaggerated. Um, if you follow Curtis Clow, the writer on Kickstarter, you will be able to find uh, this and follow him, be able to no get notified on when to uh, back the second book because it, it was cool. Um, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it from Kickstarter. Yeah, that's right. This card right here says it came from Kickstarter, so that must be where I got it. Um, yeah, definitely follow him. You'll be notified when the next one comes out. Now, for things that I got from my mail, I got this yellow bag here. I don't, if you're familiar with this yellow bag, you might know that that means it came from Scout Comics. So I recently went on Scout Comics and found three number ones that I'm going to try out because Scout Comics makes uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse and White Ash and Tart, which I've recently become very fond of. So I thought I'd check out Oblivion. It eats what feeds it and cannabis. Cannabis. So these three are going to go into my read pile. They are from Scout Comics. Go to scoutcomics.com. You will find some really good stuff there. And let's see. That is well, no, that's not all I have for right now because I do have my own Kickstarter going right now. My own Kickstarter for my pins is fully funded. I have already sent to Pins Pros Plus uh, the payment for it so they are getting made and uh, everybody that's backing me will be getting uh, their pins soon and I will keep you updated on the Kickstarter for that and uh, if you want to back it right now you've got like 60 hours to jump in on that it's it's counting down right now um, so jump in on that back my pins um, and thank you for watching if you have a comic that you want me to read uh, send me a link I'll check it out probably buy it or if you have a Kickstarter going right now um, I will give you a shout out and uh, I'll check it out and yeah just if you have any questions about anything hit me up uh, show me what you got and I'll check out your books it, and yeah, I meant to uh, make a video of drawing my comic book, Peter Pan the Vampire, but uh, this week got really um, full of things to do. Oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, I just, I hope I can get to uh, a point where I can work on that page this week. Right now I'm at work. Um, I work from noon to midnight every Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today's a Saturday, so... If you don't hear from me all weekend, that's where I'm at, at work. Um, thank you for watching Renard Studios. Do check out my Kickstarter, and have a good night.